Hi, I'm Kevin, and I'm going to show you how using Tailwind Tribes can help you find great content quickly and reach desirable audiences, all while making new and beneficial connections with bloggers and marketers like yourself. To get to your tribes, log into your Tailwind account and look for it over here in the left menu. You might be asking yourself, what exactly is a tribe? Well, a tribe is a group of like-minded marketers who help each other discover the best new content for their audience, all while amplifying the reach of each other's content. Anybody can create a tribe, and tribes are centered around individual topics, ranging from something broad like healthy recipes to something specific like Ireland travel tips for families. When you join a tribe related to your niche, you can expect to quickly find highly relevant content that you can share directly with your audience. You can also expect to reach new, highly relevant audiences as people share your own content. When you first start using Tailwind Tribes, we'll help you find a relevant tribe that's full of pinners sharing content like yours. Let's take a quick look at this tribe that I'm in now. To the left, I can see the tribe name, its description, and the rules. The rules are different for every tribe, but they'll let you know things like the kind of content the tribe is looking for, or whether affiliate links are allowed. Just below the tribe rules, you'll see some stats on how active your current tribe is and how much engagement you receive from your tribe mates here. And just below that, you'll see every member of this tribe. You can even chat with everybody here by opening up Tribes Chat. We'll talk more about these sections later, but I want to focus on what's most important first, this main area. This is where my tribe mates are sharing all their content about content marketing. This tribe feed is where your tribe mates share fresh content, and it's where the content that you submit will appear too. The most recent content is always going to be at the top, so you never have to waste time searching for something fresh. The very first thing I want to teach you is how to share somebody's content from tribes. You may be wondering why you should share other people's content as opposed to just submitting your own content. Well, we've seen that by regularly sharing strong content from other people to your social media audiences, you can both increase your credibility as a content source and increase engagement with your own content. The idea is to become both a content creator and a content curator that people want to follow. So let's get to it. The first step of sharing somebody's content is finding something that my audience will love. And I think this one will work great. This is actually perfect for my content marketing board. First, I'll just click in here and select the board I'm looking for. There we go. And you know what? This pin would also be great for my Pinterest marketing board too, so I'll also add that. And I'm pretty happy with the description that's here already, but I could edit that if I wanted to. Now, all I need to do is click Add to Queue, and Tailwind will schedule this pin to be shared at an optimal time. That's it. It took almost no time at all, and that's why it's so easy to fill your scheduled queue of content using Tribes. As you regularly look through your new Tribe submissions for content that your audience will love, you can always skip images that just aren't a good fit for them. To do this, just hover over an image like this and click the hide icon to skip over it. I like to do this so that I can zero out my Tribe, just like I do with my personal email inbox and I can always use a filter at the top of the page to see everything that I've skipped or shared to Pinterest. Nothing ever gets lost. So with that, you know how to share content from a tribe. But how do you submit your own content to a tribe for others to share? Well, if you've already scheduled pins with Tailwind before, then you're probably familiar with how your Tailwind browser extension works. The easiest way to share pins to a tribe is by using this extension. Here. I'll show you how it works. Tailwind just released a new blog post, and I think it would be a great fit for one of our tribes. First, I'll find an image on this page that I want to share to my tribe, and let's use this one. Okay, so I'm going to click Schedule in the corner of this image, and now in the pop-up drafts window, I can choose to add this pin to my tribe with this button right here. Then I'll select the tribe that I want to submit it to. I'm just going to share this blog post to this one tribe, but I could also share this with all the relevant tribes that I'm in too. And this is also handy. 
you see these numbers here? I can actually see the submission and share counts right here with the number of times that I've submitted content to a tribe on the left and that number of times that I've shared content from a tribe on the right. As you join more tribes, these numbers will make it easy to see if there's a tribe that you haven't given any love to in a while. So once I've selected the appropriate tribes, I just need to click Add to Tribe. And that's it. And since this is a new blog post, I can also schedule this to one of my boards too. Okay, so that's how you submit your content to a tribe from around the web. But you can also submit content from within Tailwind. First, I'll go to my drafts where I've got some images waiting. In here, I can add any of these to my tribes just by clicking these buttons. And the process is exactly the same as what I just showed you. But what if you want to share your very best pins to a tribe to get them more exposure? Well, we've made that simple too. First, I'll go to my pin inspector. The pin inspector shows me some of my most successful pins ever. If you're not sure what to share to a new tribe that you've just joined, then the pin inspector is a great place to go. Some of your best content is waiting here. First, I'm going to select the From My Website filter and select blog.tailwindapp.com. This filters out other people's pins that I've shared to Pinterest, so I only see content from my website. Now look over here to the right. You'll see buttons under the action column for each pin, and clicking Add to Tribe will bring up the same experience as before. Sharing your very best content is that easy. So once you've submitted content to a tribe, how do you know when other people have shared it? Let's go back to my tribe and look at the submitted images again. Now, you're probably asking yourself, hey, where'd that image go that you just shared to this tribe? Well, we move every piece of content that you submit to its own section, and you can filter for them at the top in the Yours tab. Here I can see all the images that I've submitted to this tribe. Here's the newest one I just submitted, and the rest are images that I submitted in the past. If you ever want to know exactly how many shares one of your submissions received, this is where you'd go. If you're ever curious to know how many shares you've gotten in total, don't bother trying to add all these numbers up. We've already done the hard work for you there. Over here on the left, we have some basic analytics for both the entire tribe and just for you. Let's talk about what these numbers mean. They're important because they'll help you understand how hard your tribe is working for you. Let's start with the tribe overview and I'll begin by explaining what a reshare is. Whenever somebody pins one of these submitted images to Pinterest, we call that a reshare. Every time you or another tribe mate reshares a tribe image from this feed, the total number of reshares in the tribe overview on the left will increase. The repin number next to it is pretty simple too. Every time content from this tribe gets reshared to Pinterest, we'll keep count of the repins they receive on Pinterest. So looking at this tribe, I can see that 1,200 pieces of content have been reshared to Pinterest, resulting in a total of 691 repins for pinners in this tribe. Not too bad. Just below the tribe's overview, you can see your own stats as well. This shows you how many times your submitted content has been reshared and how many times those reshares have been repinned on Pinterest. You'll notice another number here though, reach. Reach represents the number of people on Pinterest who potentially could have seen your pins. In this instance, I've received 211 reshares and potentially reached a little over 5 million people. So who exactly is putting all this content into the tribe and doing all this sharing again? You'll see all of that just below the tribe stats here. In the members list, you'll find every single member of this tribe. I can scroll through the full list, and look, here's me logged into the Tailwind account. You'll notice I have two numbers next to my name. The number on the left tells me how much content I've submitted to the tribe, while the number on the right tells me how much content I've reshared from my tribe mates. Tribe owners and admins can see these same numbers for everybody else in the tribe too. However, Regular tribe members can only see submission and share numbers for themselves. They can only see submission numbers for other members. 
Tribes works best when people are both submitting content and sharing from others. So we've made it easy for owners and admins to make sure that everybody's doing their part to build a community where everyone benefits from high quality content and the ability to reach new audiences. Oh, and if you ever have a question for a tribe owner, then you can identify them by this crown that appears next to their name. And you can just hover over it to start a chat. You can manage all of your chats by accessing tribe chat in the lower right corner here. Let me show you how this works. I'm in a lot of tribes and you can see them all here. By selecting Content Marketing Tailwind, I can chat openly with just this tribe and ask whatever I'd like. Let's say I'm starting a new board for infographics. This would be a great time to ask the tribe to share some of their content about building great infographics. I can also scroll through my connections, which are people that I'm in a tribe with, and start a chat with any individual. The filter at the top makes it much easier to jump to a connection if I know their name too. Chat is great for establishing new connections with other tribe mates. So get in there and ask a question about the tribe, talk about the latest social media news, or thank somebody for sharing your content. These connections could lead to new partnerships, guest blog posts, and more, so don't be shy. Finally, if you ever have a new message, you'll see a red badge on the chat icon to alert you of that. Well, now that I've fully explored my content marketing tailwind tribe, there's only one thing left to do. Find another tribe to join. Once you've seen how much easier it is to find content with tribes and just how much they can help you get exposure to new audiences, you'll want to join tribes in every niche that's important to you. To do that, just click on find a tribe at the top. We've made finding new tribes as easy as possible. Just think about something you create pins about and search for it here. And while you may find it useful to join a different tribe in each niche that you pin about, you may also want to join a couple of tribes in a single niche to get more varied content from different tribe mates in that niche. If you try something too specific and don't find the results that you were hoping for, you can either create a new tribe for that topic or try searching for something a little more broad. If I were a food blogger, I could try searching for something like healthy recipes. And there we go. It seems I've got several tribes to choose from. We've tried to make it easy to pick the best tribe for you. That's why you can see basic tribe information like the name, description, and rules. You can also see how many members it has along with the share score. The share score gives you an idea of how active this particular tribe submits and shares content. And remember, a bigger tribe doesn't always mean a better tribe. A small tribe that's full of content you love may be better than a big tribe that has more content that you need to sift through. A small tribe also lets you get to know the members more closely too. But big tribes that are full of activity can mean seemingly endless amounts of content. What's most important is that you find a relevant, active tribe where you can thrive alongside others. So consider these kinds of things when you're making your choice. We've tried to make the tribe selection process even easier by providing a preview functionality. Previewing a tribe lets you enter it temporarily so that you can get a feel for exactly what it's like to be a member there. Once you think you've found the right tribe, you can join it immediately if it's a public open tribe. If it's a private tribe, you'll need a request to join. To request to join a tribe, just click this button here and leave a few words about yourself and your business in the text box. We'll include a link to your website and your Pinterest account so that the tribe owner and admins can get to know you a little better. If the tribe admins think you're a good fit, then you'll get an email as soon as you've been accepted into the tribe. If you have trouble finding a tribe that fits one of the niches you work in, then you can create your own tribe too. Or if you have a small group of friends that use Tailwind, you may want to create an exclusive tribe for chatting and sharing content with just them. Creating a tribe is easy too. Once you have an idea for one, click the Create Tribes button at the top here. I'll make a Pinterest marketing mastermind tribe for me and a few people I know. Once I've entered the name of the tribe, I'll set the category. The category makes it easier for people to find and search if I set my tribe visibility to public or request to join. Since this one's for a small group of people, I'll make it secret. Finally, I just need to add a description and rules. You can always edit all of this later, so don't worry if you think you might change your mind about something here. And that's it. I've just created a tribe.
And as a tribe owner, I can also use this invite new members button. This is something that only tribe owners and admins can use. If you're in a tribe but can't use the invite new member button and want a friend to join too, you'll want to have them search for the name of the tribe in Tailwind. Once you're in multiple tribes, you'll also be able to switch between tribes here at the top. We'll also let you know if there's any new contents to you last visited a tribe right here too. So be sure to check back in on your tribes regularly. A healthy tribe is one where people are regularly submitting and resharing content. And not only that, regularly engaging with your tribe doesn't just lead to immediate benefits. You're building mutually beneficial relationships that can pay dividends for years to come. One last thing, if you ever have any questions for us, just click the blue question mark icon in the lower right hand corner of the Tailwind dashboard. You'll be able to search for an answer to your question or just message us directly. Now that you have all the right tools, go out there and grow your businesses together.